how to inspire using your words, but also through your attitude beyond the words. Here are a few extracts from the course. A first extract on leadership and influence. How to be recognised and followed as a leader. You will need to be visible and to be heard as a leader, and not only with your teams. How to make yourself visible, share your vision and objectives with your teams, your supervisor, your boss, your colleagues, and enrich yourself with their reactions and ideas. Come back with better arguments if one of your ideas is not accepted, but it is important to you. Don't give up on your vision too fast. Don't wait for someone to come and get you for projects, missions, jobs. Offer yourself. Position yourself before the position is even officially advertised, before this transversal mission has been detailed in writing. But it is especially in meetings that you can be seen and heard. I invite you to set up an analysis of your presence and your efficiency in meetings. What meetings do you attend? Do you speak during these meetings? What do you say? Have you asked your teams or colleagues for feedback on your public speaking strengths and weaknesses? Do you know how to respond to objections and attacks with diplomacy and negotiation? Which strategic meetings should you ask to attend in order to increase your visibility? Have you prepared the essential elements you want to convey beforehand? When you have the floor, do you inform or do you go further by conveying your ideas, your vision, by inciting action? A second extract on the basis of self-marketing. Who are you? What makes you different? What's your added value, your uniqueness? Above all, a good job of self-marketing helps you dare to be who you are and be confident in yourself. There can be no self-marketing without good self-esteem. Otherwise, it may be a job of makeup, retouching, covering up, and you will quickly be unmasked. If you have good self-esteem, then you will know that you have enough talents to promote instead of trying to hide your flaws. When you are clear about your strengths and passions, you need to build your marketing strategy. What do I choose to reveal about myself? What do I choose to value starting tomorrow? And to whom? A third extract on convince and sell with the species model. How to convince with the species model. S for sympathy. With the environmental aspect that we have seen before, this is a criterion that can make the difference when our computer makes its list of proposed purchases. Sympathy is a secondary motivation, but it can tip buying. The emotional, the relational can change the buying criteria. We buy an apartment on a whim. We buy a craft object because the artist passionately showed us how he or she made it. We buy a flowered dress in sunny Caribbean islands, a dress that we will never put back on. We buy beauty products from the institute where we just had a massage. The positive emotion aroused by the product, the seller or brand, removes barriers to buying, sometimes against pure logic. The attitude of the salesperson or speaker is therefore essential. It can either add oil to the cogs of conviction or make them creak. Conveying a smile, politeness, humour, listening, free advice can build a relationship of trust that can go as far as a form of friendship. We want to spend time with those who make us feel emotionally good. We want to talk to them and listen to them. The younger generations say they are very sensitive to the work environment. They will favour a company where relationships are positive, where they can have fun working together. Do you want to learn more about the subject? We are delighted to accompany you on the course Communicating and Inspiring. See you soon.